Hi, I'm Kristen Sanchez. It is Thursday, January 21st, and here are the six things to know. President Biden will continue signing executive orders and other directives on his first full day in office. The new commander in chief signed a total of 15 executive orders almost immediately after taking his oath Wednesday. Among the series of executive orders, he reserved, he reversed policies on immigration, climate change, and COVID-19. Florida hit a new milestone Wednesday. The state's daily vaccine report showed about more than 1 million people have received their first dose of the COVID-19 vaccination. Florida started administering the vaccine in mid-December. Just over 111,000 people have received the second booster shot. Well, a winning ticket was sold in Maryland for the last night's $730 million Powerball drawing. It's unclear where exactly the ticket was sold, and you still have a chance to win big tomorrow. The Mega Millions jackpot is $970 million, the third largest prize in U.S. history. Good luck. Florida Surgeon General says states like Florida with high numbers of seniors should be given higher priority in the allotment of COVID-19 vaccines. In an interview with the Associated Press, Dr. Scott uh, sought to reassure Floridians that they their return will come for the life-saving vaccine, which has been in short supply since being rolled out last month. So for more information on this story, just search vaccine wait on the NBC6 website. Well, Miami-Dade County Public School employees ages 65 and older will be able to get a COVID-19 vaccine this weekend. That's due in partnership between the district and Jackson Health System. Vaccines will be administered Saturday and Sunday at three of Jackson's vaccination sites. Part-time personnel are also qualified to get the vaccine. Okay, so here are your headlines for today. We've got a front, but it sits north of us. That's where all the rain is across uh, basically northern Florida and the rest of the southeast. For us, we're south of the front. A little bit cool this morning, but we're going to bounce into the mid to upper 70s with bright sunshine and low humidity. So from here, that warming trend continues. We could be flirting with 80 degrees very easily on Friday. That continues into Saturday. A very weak front kind of backs in. Kristen on Sunday, just knocking us back a couple degrees, maybe a couple of raindrops. Then those winds switch to the southeast all over again for next week, and we're back to the 80s. All right, Adam, thank you. Those are your six things you need to know for today. You can always follow all these stories and check out the forecast on the NBC6 app. And remember that you can watch NBC6 on our app, Roku, Apple TV, and YouTube.